श्री विवेक कुमार सिंह a 1989 vintage ias officer who started off as a 1987 batch ifs probationer is now the principal secretary to governor of bihar earlier he has served as principal secretary department of forest and environment revenue and land reforms agriculture bihar aur disguise karne ke baad jo hamara location hoga wo online hoga he has been chairman bihar state pollution control board secretary art culture and youth ceo of bihar foundation labor commissioner and secretary information and public relations he was the divisional commissioner at gaya and dm at pakur and rohtas he had a brief stint as a management trainee with sail an alumnus of st michael's patna he did his bsc physics from delhi university and completed llb while in job For him professional commitments have never been roadblocks to his pursuits of passion the passion for quizzing and crosswords he has given to the world three unique crossword platforms a daily online challenge on cryptixing.com a clue a day contest indian crossword league and a national level inter school contest which has already featured in the limca book of records We welcome him as a chief guest on the occasion of national seminar at Amity University Patna. Hello friends this is Sakshi Di from Amity School of Communication and I welcome you to Amity TV. Our university has organized national seminar on importance of communication technology in education. So today we have a very great personality as the chief guest uh mr vivek kumar singh he is principal secretary to governor of bihar sir i welcome you to amity tv i am very glad that you came to our show so first of all i like to ask that what you think about the indian education system uh indian education system as as the seminar would suggest is as a cusp of a change cusp of change from the traditional where we had books where we had traditional methods of teaching to a point where technology is overtaking us and we we are in a state of flux as to how to utilize the technology how to make education simpler and better for the students per se so accordingly the entire system will have to adapt and uh, the adaptation will have to take place in a very short period of time he believes that learning should not be confined to getting degrees rather it should be aimed at an all round inclusive development of the body and the mind the educational institutes should actively engage in polishing the multifaceted versatile caliber of students uh i heard that you expert at uh, crossword puzzle so i like to have some advice that how to gain the skill you see i mean i am fond of extra curriculars i mean most of our academics is basically about rote learning still i mean you have, you study because you have to clear some competition you practice because you have to clear some competitions life is not only about clearing competitions it is all about achieving larger objectives and for larger objectives if you have your extra curricular grinding well you are much i mean much better suited to the society at large so therefore public speaking crosswords quizzes even games everything matters crossword for one is 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 a pastime where you use your mind you use your knowledge of vocabulary and the best part is you get challenged by every clue now not everything challenges you in life i mean if life is very hunky dory and you go to your class you do your homework and then you solve problems and you see the answers of the problems when you do crosswords i mean you are left by yourself like you are left in your life you have a challenge coming up and that challenge has to be resolved only by you using your intellect your experience and your personal wisdom so i would suggest that any university any good educational institution should encourage extra curriculars in general and crosswords in particular because crossword is not only about about a particular thing in english it is about your mental thesaurus it is about your ability to take challenges it is about your lateral thinking ability it is about your critical thinking so many things involved in that small game which also entertains you he firmly believes in giving back to the society in which we prosper taking the responsibility of family and parents who have made us what we are today as a real icon for the youth his message is simple be upright and determined to serve the society and nation as a whole okay sir uh, at last i would like you to some advices to young students 
My advice is always, I mean, firstly, all of us, I mean, we have our personal aspirations, one must live up to that. But we, we have larger objectives for the society and for the family. So you must also think about families. I am particular about family because nowadays I find that the parents who have taught you and who have brought you up, they are in a bad shape at the later stage of life because all of us are so competitive in our own sense and we want to do better, we want to go abroad perhaps. So the family is left behind. Similar is for the society. I have seen people from my state going abroad and feeling bad about the state but not able to do anything. So you must repay and not repay as a virtue of uh, charity but as a matter of pride, as a matter of your responsibility. Sir, I have a question. What is your opinion about Amity Education Group? Amity University, I have, I have a, a good impression about the institution. I went to the campus. My nephew was staying, studying there in Delhi, in Noida. So I have been to the campus. I have liked the campus, the vibrancy of Amity. And uh, again, the extracurricular inputs that, that the institution provides. And above all, the sense of pride the university has in its own name and its students, which is very important. So dear friends, he was today's guest. I'll be back with another expert in next episode. Till then, keep watching Amity TV. Thank you and goodbye.